So, how old are you now? 16? 18. Oh, close enough. Uh, what middle school are you in? Dad, I'm in college. Oh, right, right, college. How's the wife? I don't, I don't have... Okay, let's just talk about you or, or something. Me? Why? We always talk about me. I think we should talk about you and the fact that you can't get a woman even though you have my jeans. And I'm not talking about your trousers. What's up with that, am I right? <laughs> Just kidding, sport. Hey, how's the water? Distilled enough for you? Um, yeah, it's... Uh-huh. Wait, are you trying to say I don't have a way with women? And here you are, sir. Can I get anything for you? Uh, I, I, I like water. Okay, well, just let me know if you want something a little more caffeinated. Ah, you ever wonder why they can't get some waitresses with a little more riffraff up in here? Riffraff? What are you talking about? I, I, I think she's cute. <laughs> that? <laughs> that? Please, son! I don't mean to brag, but did you see the smoking hot babe that I landed? Roberta's got that stanky little barbarian beat 10 ways out of 10. You mean barista. And are you talking about Rob? You fucking know I am. Roberta is the sexiest woman on the planet. Not the one we live on. Earth, son. I'm talking about Earth. No, Dad. Roberta has been Rob for a year and a half now. What? No. Look at this picture, and try not to get too aroused. That'll get your sausage so tight you can cut it with a butter knife. What the fuck, Dad? That's not even Rob. Oh, that's Ken from work. Here's a pic of Roberta that's sure to do a number on your thunder down under. Do you not see what you just did? You mistook your wife for your bearded male co-worker. That could happen to anyone, son. The point is, you can't get a woman. I can too. No, you can't, son. Have you looked in a mirror? Are you calling me ugly? Not necessarily, but you don't look like me, so you must be bad at picking up chicks. You are literally the worst father I could possibly have. Let's not slide around the slinky, son. I'm gonna help you pick up chicks whether you're gay or not. Dad, what? Let's go, son. I'm running out of patience for your limp dick attitude. Let's go find you a honey bunny slutty mother. Lady, I don't speak librarian. I'm so sorry. Why do you always do this? You can't be too careful, son. If you don't fend them off early, they might teach you something you don't want to know. What with all their cranial horsepower and metadata, it's not natural. If that's how you feel about librarians, then why are we here? Chick, son! Babes! Muff! Mulligan! Okay, so why are we wearing these disguises? Once you get a woman to like the fake you, she has to like the real you. That's wrong, Dad. And 
Probably illegal. Play it cool. Five o'clock. There, son. Look, it's a perfect specimen. That's not five o'clock. Never you mind the time, boy. Look, she's perfect. You can tell by the shoulders. No, Dad, those shoulders are pretty broad. Now you're getting it, son. She's a broad. I don't think you understand the basics of human sexuality. I'm gonna go talk to her, son. Be your feather guy. You mean wingman. Don't sass me, boy, or I'll take you out back and wrestle you. In other words, I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll give you the buy sign. It's definitely the high sign. Hey, babe. I'm from Houston. What do you say you and me make like Texas toast and get in my car and drive somewhere? Well, I'd love to, pretty boy, but uh, looks like you're married. <laughs> oh, this old thing? <laughs> I only wear it as a fashion statement. So what do you say my Italian sausage and your English muffin get together and play a little cat? He means syphilis. One time! One time. I got the screen on the internet. Burns like hell. That's got to do something, right? Sounds tempting, but uh... I don't think muffin is the right word for what I've got. Nonsense! You're a flower exploding with sexual juices. What's your name, sweet tits? I'm Shauna. Dad, I think that's a drag queen. Christopher, I am sure Sweet Tits is not a drag, and who are you calling queen? I'm sorry. You're cute. Call me sometime. It's as easy as that. What the hell was that? A little thing we like to call the birds and the bees. Give me the car keys. What? The party is just getting started. Give me, give me the car keys. Where are you going, Slugger? A drive off a cliff. You want to come? Why so down, Slugger? Champ? Big boy? It just, that shouldn't have worked. But it did. Who the man? Come on, who the man? Shauna, your wife, you, me, Jesus, Hitler, fuck! Wait for me, buckaroo! How was coffee? Great! What's with your father? Um, do you have a minute, Rob? For you, I have all the time in the world. Less I'm making meatloaf or rubbing your father's feet. Luckily for you, your father hasn't touched me in three years, and I'm making lasagna. Great. That's when I knew that I was a man on the inside. Okay, yeah, that, that's great. But does Dad know? Know what, dear? Well, like, has he ever seen your... You know, like, your... Are you asking if your father's seen me naked? Okay, look, I wasn't prepared to say that, but... Yes, that is what I'm asking. Of course! Now that I think about it. No, he hasn't. So, what am I eating later besides your love? <laughs> Jerry, not in front of our son. Get on the table. Jerry, I have lasagna to make. Get back here. <laughs> Hand me that spoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, get over here. here. No, the oven's hot. No, the oven's hot. Oh, Give me that pan. <laughs> Are you gonna talk to me or are you just gonna stare? No, I, there's something behind you. It's okay I'm if you do. I'm just used to guys throwing a couple bucks at me if it goes on for much longer. Oh, well, I, I have a wallet. If I'm you... kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, duh. Obviously. <laughs> I'm Alex.
So how's it going? Oh, uh, Chris. My name my, is Chris, but you can call me Chris. All right, Chris. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to call you Water Cup Kid. What do you? What? The water cup when you were with your dad or uncle or something, you were drinking oh, water. Oh yeah. Water. <laughs> water. You don't get out much, do you? No. Uh, but That's I... That's okay. I kind of like that. So, do you come here off a lot? Only on my breaks. Uh, do you often stare at people in parks? Only when my dad gets weird. Oh, I totally get it. No, like really weird. Oh, I totally get it. My parents are no, crazy. No, I don't think you understand. Enlighten me. Well, yeah, see, my dad, he's got the problem. Oh, shit, I gotta get back. Oh. I'm training today, and the only other experienced employee is a crack addict. <laughs> crack, yeah. I wish I was kidding. Oh. I, yeah, no, that's, that's cool. <laughs> let's, let's hang out sometime. We can complain yeah. about our crazy families. I'd like that. I'm off at four tomorrow. I'll be hungry, and I like pizza. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Your father's sleeping in the other room. In the dining room? Well, you know how your father gets at night. So I heard. I had told him I had to finish the dishes, so we compromised and used the dining room table. Gross! I eat breakfast on that table! Oh, we were just spooning. My chair bear got a little sleepy, and after about an hour and a half of staring at the ceiling, I decided to sneak away and go downstairs for my nightly romance novel fix. That's, uh, that's good, Rob. Well, can I with you? Right. Try not to wake your father. You know how cranky he gets when he's sexually frustrated. Hey, Rob. Yeah, sweetie. Why are you and Dad still married? Apparently you've never filed a tax return. No, I guess not. People don't just stop loving each other because one of them gets a penis, sweetie. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, it's fine. It's fine. Well, your father and I may not be traditional, but what we are is... Weird? I was going to say in love. I know you haven't had that connection with anyone, but someday I know you'll find it and you'll know what I mean. I just think Dad is really confused. He's just a joker. Are you sure? Because in the past year and a half, I have never heard him acknowledge the fact that you're a dude. <laughs> yeah, of course. He... I'm sure he... You know what? It's getting late, sweetheart. Yeah, I guess it is like... Nine. Oh, that's funny, because <laughs> it rhymes. I've always enjoyed rhetoric. Well, it's the best I got. What's with the blanket? Oh, well, I thought we could, since it's nice. I love picnics. What kind did you get? God damn it. <laughs> the guys at the pizza place always think it's so funny to put my pizza in upside down. Why don't you go to a different pizza place? Well, it's just a block away from my house. It's just really convenient. I can see that. <laughs> you know, it's not that bad with just sauce. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. I actually think this is pretty cute. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a first. Are you saying you've taken other girls on upside down pizza dates before? Oh, no, no. I can honestly say that you are the first. See? It's cute. I mean, I guess I really wouldn't know. What do you mean? Well, I'm not experienced in the uh, cute date department. Is this your first date? Uh, no, no, yeah, second, second date. <laughs> no way. Uh, well, I, I don't know if you can call it a date. It was more a 
double date that still with counts. my dad. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. No, not <laughs> not important. Uh, no, I want to know what what was she like. She was my dad's wife's daughter. <laughs> so you mean your stepsister? Okay, not at the time. Uh, see, they weren't you married. You totally then. went on a date with oh, your stepsister. Yeah, but things change. One day she's not my sister, and the next she is. I'm just giving you crap. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta admit, that's pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Haha. Okay. <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay. <clears throat> what do you want to know? When was the last time you went on a date with your stepsister? Not that long ago, actually. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but there was this one time that uh, I went on a date with a 13 year old. <laughs> Please tell me you were 12. Plus five. How does that happen? Well, he was six feet tall with a beard. I thought he was older than me. <laughs> that is fucked up. Well, you know, the first sign should have been when his mom dropped him off at my house. She waved and said she'd pick him up at 9.30. That is hot. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> the beard was so convincing. I thought his car like broke down or something. Oh, I mean, that could, yeah. Sure, <laughs> I mean, whatever you want. It's so Whatever, I really don't care. I mean, I don't have a car. That, does that make someone cool? Okay, so let's go over this one more time. If my dad says anything, literally anything to you, what do you say? No habla inglés. Great, uh, you're ready. You just go on a no, walk. No, no, no. We went over this 17 times. I'm ready to meet your father. Look, I like you. And we started off the night great. So I'd like to end similarly. Oh, don't worry, it'll hey, be fine. Hey, hey, what little freak did you bring home this time? Dad, please, I'm begging you. Nonsense. What's your name, sweetie? Not English, not uh, English. No habla English. Oh, one of those French girls. Wee oui, wee, oui, baguette. <laughs> okay, Dad. Oh, you must be... It was nice to meet you. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I, I'm fine. I, I'm fine. How are you? Are you okay? Are you well? I'm fine. Confused, but fine. Good! Good! One question. What the hell is going on? What? You met my dad. Sort of. Uh, where's your stepmom? Oh, you met her. In passing. No, I distinctly remember meeting only your father and then running by some guy who looked like Louis C.K. Yeah. Okay, explanation time. Well, see, my mom and dad got divorced when I was seven. My dad remarried to Roberta when I was 14. Two years after that, Roberta became a man. And a year and a half after that, I met you. Uh, so you said your family was weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. My family's weird. Uh, my stepmom likes unsalted popcorn. Okay, but that's so weird. Like, how is your dad okay with that? See, the really funny part is, I'm not sure he knows. What are you doing? Having a bowl of ice cream? You should be ashamed of yourself. What? It's light. Not the ice cream, dum dum. Eavesdropping on Christopher and his little friend. You're a naughty one. Oh, can it? You know how frisky I get at night. And that's precisely why you need to come watch the Andy Griffith show with me. Rob is actually one of the nicest people I know. Actually, this ice cream seems pretty good. Oh, 
Well, at least you have one sane person in your life. Well, now looks like I have two. Oh, me? Oh, I'm not as sane as you might think. Well, do you understand the basics of human sexuality? I think so. Well, you're ahead of my dad. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Snacks! We're, We're checking snacks, breath. sweetheart. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna walk her out. Oh, you're leaving so soon? Well, you're welcome back anytime. Unless we're screwing. <laughs> Jerry, please! Run. Okay, I had I'm a really great sorry. time. What? I said I had a great time. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard you. I just, I don't believe you. Trust me, it was fun. <laughs> uh, maybe next time we can have upside down soup. Well, that sounds like a terrible idea. Text me. Thanks, guys. Real subtle. Oh, sorry, sweetie. We just couldn't help ourselves in the account. It's the first time you brought a girl over. It's good to finally see you're not a pussy bitch oh. anymore. Yeah, thanks, Dad. One question. Did you poon her? No. How were the jubblies? I'm gonna choose not to answer that. Did you use any of my razor blades? What the fuck, Jerry? Dad? What? I'm just asking the protocol questions. Did you find the pills I put down there? Pills? What are you talking about? Ah, see? That was a test. You failed, son. If it's okay, Jerry, I'm gonna make sure our son isn't emotionally scarred. Is that all right with you? I'm just trying to make sure that my boy's getting the most out of his relationship. How do you think it went? Well, I mean, she said she had a good time. <laughs> a good time, eh? Oh, where did you go? What did you do? Well, she said she was off at four and that she liked pizza, so I met her in the park and we had pizza. <laughs> Romantic! Oh! What's she like? Is she outgoing? Is she shy? Uh, she's really easy to talk to. Well, this is boring. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and yank it. Oh, Christopher, I'm just so glad you found someone you can really connect with. Trust me, Christopher, it's so amazing when you find that one special person. Rob, I met her yesterday. Oh, I know that, sweetheart, but... Life is so short, and it's just so nice to see a young couple flourishing in sweet innocence. Thanks, Rob. I think I really like her. Oh, you're coming everywhere! I gotta get the camera! Oh, no, no, Rob. You, you really don't have to. It's not. This is just picture perfect! Oh! I think I'm just gonna go check on your father. Chair Bear! Here comes General Custer to the Battle of Waterloo! Chair Bear? Do you need anything, dear? No. I'm fine. Leave me alone! Back away from the door! Actually, could you give me the Neosporin? I don't think we have any. Neosporin! Hey, Dad. I'm gonna head over to Alex's now. Wait! Son! I know you've been seeing this little freak for about a week now. I think you should take this with you just in case. What is it? Protection, son. This is just a bunch of balloons. Right, son. Use them wisely. The instructions are on the bag. Dad, this is just your name. In cursive. In crayon. Well, I was practicing, son. Proud of you, Dad. 
They're really moving up in the world. Thanks, son. Now hurry off and do something freaky with your little barbarian. Barista, Dad. It's Barista! Oh, sweet Jesus! You startled me. Uh, hey, uh, what's up, Rob? Oh, I was just headed to the kitchen to make some sandwiches. Did you want anything? Uh, I'm actually gonna head over to Alex's. So. Oh, have a good time. <laughs> I will. Actually, Chris? Uh, yeah? I was thinking about telling your father today. Oh! Wow, uh, yeah, that's, that's really great, Rob. You think so? I, yeah, I mean, better late than never. That's what I was thinking. Wish me luck. Luck. Jerry? Jer? Jerry. Jerry. Jerry Barry! She's 18, I swear! What? 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 Hey, babe. Jerry. There's something we need to talk about. Babe, you know I hate to be interrupted when I'm basking. I know, sweetheart, but it's really important for me, for us. For our marriage. <laughs> All right, baby. Grace me with your words. Uh, well, you're looking a little pink. <laughs> Why don't I grab some sunscreen? Ah, way ahead of you, Mama. Rub a dub dub. Okay, move forward and I'll, I'll get your back. Why don't you shimmy out of that tube top and join me? Jerry, this is a polo. And we're in public. Polo, prego, whatever, right? It's the backyard. The only person who might see us is peeping Jimmy from across the street. just because you said so. That's my girl. Actually, that's what I need to talk to you about. No, no I've kind of been trying to ease into this, but it seems like it's only made it harder. You always do, babe. Stay focused, hon. Sorry. Jer Bear, I'm a man. Okay. Did someone put you up to this? Am I being pumped? There's gotta be a camera around here somewhere. There are no cameras, Jerry. Chris, aha! Chris put you up to this. That little perv has been trying to convince me that you're a man for going on two years now. Jerry, I've always been a man on the inside, but for a year and a half, I've been a man on the outside. Jerry, did you hear me? Wait, when you say man, do you mean like a man man? Sans vulva plus wee wee. Okay. Wait, so you're not mad? Why should I be mad? You know what they say. Two dicks. Makes a couple of dicks. Well, are things gonna be different now? Why should they be? Well, Jerry, I just told you that I'm a man and you're not showing the slightest bit of discomfort. Aren't you the same person that I married four years ago? Yes, I suppose. And if I remember correctly, 
the person that I married over a decade ago was the only person that could make my day bright. I don't see any reason that's a change. Oh, Jeff Bear, I love you, even if your math is more confusing than our relationship. I love you, Roberta. It's Rob. Do you want to get your towel now? No, thank you, babe. Did you decide on a movie? Uh, not yet. Uh, I've narrowed it down to the wonderful world of the sloth and my friend Molasses. Well, it doesn't really matter to me because we won't be watching the movie anyway. Well, what do you... <laughs> so, which one? Oh, uh, well, as much as I love sloths, I'm gonna have to go with my friend Molasses. But I was so looking forward to sloths tonight. Well, I mean, if you want to, we could- I'm kidding. They're both equally shitty. Good to know. Oh. Cheese powder? I still can't believe you took that so well. Are you kidding? I'm excited. I feel like we're so much closer now. And now I won't have to listen to Chris convince me that you're a guy because I know that you are. That's good to hear, sweetie. Speaking of Chris, I better call him and tell him the news. Jerry, he already knows. I know he knows, but he doesn't know I know. True. Good thinking, dear. Now where's my walk em talk -em? You and your phrases. What's up, Dad? Chris, you'll never guess what Rob just told me. I think I have a pretty good idea. I'd like to thank you all for coming to our celebration. It means so much to have you here. And it's hard to believe that just a few days ago, this man didn't know I had a wiener. I may have always known. It could have just been a severe state of denial. Nah! We'd also like to thank uh, Jerry's new friends for coming. <laughs> uh, especially you, Shauna. It's very nice to meet you. You have a lovely home.